Hey everyone, Ben here and welcome to the Mil Mil Has Brazil, the thousand miles of Brazil, a sports car endurance race held annually in Brazil since 1956. The very first Mil Mil Has was organised by Eloy Gogliano and Wilson Fittipaldi Sr, the father of Emerson Fittipaldi. The two men were inspired after seeing the 1949 Italian Mil Miglia. Fast forward nearly 70 years and the race features a mad array of prototypes, GT cars and tin tops. And thanks to Automobilista 2, you can have a pretty good go at recreating it. Let me show you. Ok, so the 2023 Mil Mil has kicked off at midnight on the 22nd of January at Interlagos, the circuit that has played host to the vast majority of these races since their inception. 40 cars took to the grid and were on board a P1 prototype here on lap 1 and throughout this video I'm going to show you footage of the race from a number of different perspectives across the grid. Now in real life the classes of car are slightly different to those in AMS 2. You have the P1 class and the race also features junior prototypes, GT3, GT4 and a range of tin top cars. For my purposes today I've included some of the TSI Cup cars but you can of course have a bit of fun with it in building your own grid inspired by real life. I know in the past Brazilian stock cars have also competed in the field too. This mix of classes give the racing such a distinctive feel, especially on a comparatively short lap here at Interlagos, with a highly technical middle section of the lap to navigate. You can easily get traffic congestion very quickly in the race. The pace differential between the prototypes and some of the lower powered tin top cars is massive. At the same time, the pace difference between the GT cars and the prototypes is a little bit closer, meaning you can often find yourself sitting in a tiny junior prototype car vying side by side with what seems to be a giant BMW GT3. And of course, it being into Lagos, the weather frequently plays a part in proceedings too. Now a huge number of drivers have competed in this race over the years, with famous winners including Nelson Piquet, Helio Castro Nieves, Marc Genet, Steve Soper and Christian Fittipaldi amongst others. In 2007 the race was held as part of the Le Mans series, the first time that the race had been part of an international championship and the event had previously been supported as a non-championship event in the BPR Global GT series as well as the FIA GT championship. Unfortunately the race was not held between 2009 and 2019 before being revived just a few years ago in 2020. So why do I love this combination so much? Well I think it plays to the real strengths of AMS 2. When it comes down to it, if the Automobilista series is a celebration of Brazilian motorsport, then putting together one of the most iconic Brazilian races of the last 70 years in sim feels like the realisation of that vision. It maximises the use of traditional Brazilian content that you can only really race in this sim, alongside some of the more globally recognised series. Likewise, in terms of driving feel, the prototypes in AMS2, especially after version 1.5, are some of the best in the title, so it's a particular treat to drive those. For the most part, at least running with accelerated time, the AI do a pretty good job of navigating lap traffic, despite the fact that we're running with 5 or 6 different car classes here. Don't get me wrong, the AI in AMS2 do need work, but nothing here interrupts the fun of recreating this race. And of course you can make the most of the dynamic day and night transitions and real historical weather data that AMS2 offers, meaning the race can either be as historically accurate as you like or different every time you drive it. And as you can see on screen, it frequently looks absolutely gorgeous too. You have a whole bunch of historical content in AMS2 as well, including the historic Interlagos circuit, meaning you could probably also pull together a decent enough recreation of some of the early Mil Mil Has events too. Maybe that's one for a future video. In the meantime, I really encourage you to give this a go, and if you're looking for more inspiration for great race combinations in Automobilista 2, check out the video on screen now.